now on to our dinosaur of the day, Glacialosaurus, which was a request from Jessica via Patreon, so thank you. It's a massospondylid sauropodomorph that lived in the Jurassic in what is now Antarctica, and the fossils were found in the 1990s by Dr. William R. Hammer of Augustana College and a team. It was found in the lower part of the Hansen Formation in Mount Kirkpatrick, and the fossils were found at an elevation of more than 13,000 feet, or about 4,100 meters. Oof. Yeah, and they had to remove the bones from ice and rock using jackhammers, rock saws, and chisels. So more difficult than usual, I would say. Yeah. <laughs> it's known from a partial foot and referred material of a left femur. And it was described in 2007 by Nathan Smith and Diego Pohl. The type species is Glacialosaurus hammeri, and the name means icy lizard or frozen lizard, and refers to the Beardmore Glacier region in the central Transantarctic Mountains where the fossils were found. And the species name is in honor of William Hammer. It's the first sauropodomorph found in Antarctica. And it shows how early sauropods and sauropodomorphs were distributed They've been found in China, South Africa, South America, North America, Antarctica, and this is probably due to connections between continents at the time. Other sauropod fossils have been found in the same formation, which shows that early sauropods and sauropodomorphs coexisted together for a while. Glacialosaurus was herbivorous, and it was estimated to be 20 to 25 feet long, or 6 to 8 meters, and weigh 4 to 6 tons. Predators at the time included Cryolophosaurus, so would have probably had to watch out for that. And Glacialosaurus's foot is similar to Lafungosaurus, which lived in the early Jurassic in China. So it's possible they were close relatives. I love good Antarctic dinosaurs. Mm -hmm. It's just amazing that we can find anything there. 